Our specialization in this project is on distance learning. So, uh, whereas this project was looking at all different forms of blended learning, uh, we were the ones that brought in distance learning, e-learning, if you want, uh, into the whole project. So, uh, we developed a number of online modules that uh, our partners in, in uh, Moldova and Georgia and, uh, and Ukraine could use, uh, and they also helped in the development of those modules uh, themselves. Well, I think there's, there's a number of lessons uh, to learn um, from the project. One, it's not been very easy to bring in new kinds of teaching in certain systems that were very rigid. On the other hand, we see that a lot of the young um, academia in, in, uh, in those countries are very eager to get uh, these other forms of, uh, of teaching in their portfolio. So, uh, the, the kind of problem-based learning from Maastricht, the e-learning from Brussels, uh, the, the uh, other experience that we had from, from Surrey, uh, with, with uh, kind of uh, uh, simulation games uh, that were done were highly appreciated there and um, they formed the basis now for some of the curricular parts in, in the uh, partner countries. Um, for us it was a, a big learning activity too. I think we, we gained a lot of experience by uh, teaching the modules to larger audiences than we normally uh, have uh, and got the feedback to improve these, uh, these things even further. So all in all, I think it was a, for us a very, very, very good uh, experience to have that. Well, we've seen, we've seen some, some very good quality uh, in, in uh, a number of the partner universities. Uh, we've seen a lot of eagerness in, in uh, doing things uh, together. Uh, over these past four years now almost, uh, yeah, you, you, you've got some friendships that go beyond just the mere academia uh, and you've seen uh, quite a lot of uh, also academic um, joint ventures in the sense that we've written papers together, uh, we've gone to conferences together. So there is a nucleus, a basis uh, that, that uh, will definitely go beyond this project. Yes. I think the, the education is key. Uh, we've seen over the past months and years now uh, a number of things happening where at least, well, the least you can do is frown over uh, the um, disinformation and non-information that has going, been going on. Uh, whereas if you know a little bit about the EU and you know, about how it's structured and what it is doing and, and so forth, you know that uh, a lot of the things that have been spread around are just not true. So um, an understanding, a deep understanding of what the EU is all about, about, about what the European project is all about, uh, I think is, is more necessary than ever. Uh, Unfortunately, Europe has become a little bit less sexy because of the crisis that we've had, but uh, dealing with the, those crises we will we'll still have to do. And whether that's going to be in an EU context or in an individual country context, these problems will have to be tackled. So you will still need uh, the, the, um, the knowledge on, on how to tackle these problems at any given moment. So more than ever, I think this is, this, is, uh, this is necessary. And you actually see it if we look at, um, at student populations in our programs. They've been going down a little bit. Um, I guess also because of the sexiness of the subject has gone down. But at the same time, you see that those people that come uh, are very, very interested in what's happening and are very interested in what, what the solutions may be. So we have to think beyond the structures of today and see what the, what the solutions are. And that you can only do by, one, working together, uh, talking to each other and teaching.